Oh my God, it's like we never left. I've sat up here a million times before. I've seen a thousand dances go on. And, you know, I'm just kind of hoping this year turns out a little bit better for, for Chloe. This is my daughter, Chloe, who is nine. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is her state title that she's won, and she's also won a national title. It's my job to make sure all those little things ta are taken care of behind the scenes so that she can be the star that she needs to be on stage. Because we're so dedicated to dance, we have missed so much. We have our award ceremony. For what? School. Oh, your grades. OK. I do find myself at times, you know, putting dance before school, and it's probably not right. I pay Abby $16,000 a year to teach my daughter dance, but don't tell my husband. This is Petite Miss, first runner-up, 2010, and Maddie won. I was her runner-up. Runner-up. My daughter was usually number two, but she was always in the mix, but she couldn't quite, you know, push herself over the top. I'd say that Maddie probably is Chloe's biggest competition. I think that Chloe's biggest competition's in her own backyard. Do you think you'll ever make it to the top of the pyramid? We can hope, right? Yeah. She wants to be the best, she has to beat the best, and Maddie's the best. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this new pyramid thing, because no. to me, that's more like a Bermuda Triangle than a pyramid. <laughs> like, I, it's very divisive. Someone's at the top, someone's at the bottom. And no teacher does that in a classroom. Like, you're the star pupil, and you're down yeah. here. No. So are we surprised who's on the top of the pyramid? Thank God. No. I would have been shocked if someone else had been there. Now, that would have been surprising. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised she's at the top. It's just, it. Because my kid is the star. She is the most talented girl there. And if anybody has any problems with me, I'm just going to ignore it this year. I'm here for my daughter, and I'm not here to make friends.